time slows for a moment, and the air becomes thicker. The master of the house is coming. You. There are many things in your world that I loathe. Litters of kittens, chattering children, the noise, and the chaos of it all. In my world, in my house, there is order, and there is decorum. You came here uninvited, and you stole from me. In doing so, you brought the chaos of your world into mine. I will not abide it. You think I'm on your side? The only reason you're here is because Raphael allowed you to be. I permitted you the freedom to decide your own fate. You could have been smart, selfless, saved the world. Instead, you came here and risked everything. It's the fatal flaw of mortal kind. Take away their free will and they call you a tyrant. Allow them to indulge it and they become tyrants. You would have been heroes if you'd only dealt fairly with me. Instead, you're not so different to doomed Cassus, overreaching your limits and Burning your world to ash. Wrong, wrong, wrong! They will save their world and smash you to smithereens. It's this charming naivety that makes your company such a joy to me, Hope. I'll even forgive this little rebellion once you're suitably chastised. This isn't a rebellion. It's a revolt. I'm revolting! <laughs> then hope dies today. Commander, you can salvage a trophy from these insects when I'm done with them. These insects struck me down beneath the Shadowlands. They are worthy opponents. Their skulls will make fine trophies. To stand against a devil in his own home. Hmm. That takes courage. I'm with you. How tiresome. Am I to understand that you wish to die with them? I wish to fight with them. It's all the same in the end. If you have any last words, make it quick. It will only take a moment to finish you. Hope. It always burns you in the end, little mouse. Now, down comes the claw.
effect and the cause. Curtain falls, but hold your applause. Squirm, squirm, for now down here come the claws. Not exactly a peaceful <gasps> one. On your command. Nothing hurt. It's absolutely preposterous that any of us are alive. Maybe we're not. Pinch yourself and check we're not dreaming the last of our lives as we die screaming! I was just about quite all right with the amount of fight he put up. If anything, I would have preferred less. What a wonderful, jubilant, glorious day. Huh? But my poor sister, Carilla. It is not right that she died. And that makes me want to weep an ocean. She was an entire person before she ever made that choice. When we were children, she always kept the last piece of pastry for me and bloodied the nose of the bullies who pulled my hair. She was my sister. But as a wise woman once said, there's no point in crying over spilt blood. We must go on. And despite all the years I've lost, I have enough love in my heart to guide you home. For the first time since you heard her voice, hope seems calm, and the peace flows from her into you soothing your very soul. You were all the luck I needed. Nowhere but here. I don't quite think I know where anywhere else is anymore. With a lick of paint and a thorough cleaning, this could be a lovely little house. And I can hardly leave. After all, who would ever want to think of hell without hope? I hope I'll see Carilla again one day, and that she'll say sorry, and I'll tell her she's forgiven. I hope I find all the pieces of my mind that fell out of my head over all those years, and that I'll be able to put myself back together again. I hope the echoes of pain will fade, and memories of sorrow will die, and that you'll visit me here someday. And I hope you have a happy ending of your own. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Hmm. You fought well. We could use such strength in the blood war. 
Now I'm free of Raphael's blasted contract. I can return to the front lines. Whoever your enemies are, they have good reason to fear you. And I'll gladly lend you my skills against them when the time comes. Until then, good luck to you, little rabbit. You're a finer hunter than any wolf. No traps, please. Whispers. So you wormed your way into the Devil's Lair, risked mind, limb, and freedom, all to steal the Orphic Hammer. I hope your ambitions end there. I have already told you that the Githyanki Prince only wants to see you dead. But it seems you still do not trust me. That is not my definition of trust. You are falling into the same trap as the Chosen. Their distrust of one another is their undoing. We must not make the same mistake. We must work together. I wish I could trust you. But that you felt you needed to have it at all tells me that you are not worthy of that trust. Nonetheless, our fates are bound. And in the absence of a happier union, I will accept a useful one. You may think yourself ingenious for having slain a devil, but you have merely ironed out a wrinkle. The Elder Brain will not be such an easy foe. It is time we resume our journey to find it. What path like? Trips to the Hells are usually one way. Especially when the Traveler causes the kind of trouble you did. I knew you were a thief. Didn't realize you were a killer. Raphael's death is already causing quite a stir across the Hells. It's a rare thing for a mortal to slay a devil of his stature. In all the excitement, I hope you didn't forget our bargain. Do you have the gauntlets? Hand them over, and our deal is done. That can be arranged. If there's enough coin on the table, Mammon permits almost anything. Not a subtle point, but well made. Keep the gauntlets. Your threats aren't necessary, but your coin is still welcome, Devil Slayer. Welcome back, Devil Slayer. What can I do for you? Now you've seen what I have for thee, remember, 
Discretion is key at the Devil's Fee. The hammer is ours. The Devil is snuffed out. Our power is undeniable. Yes, the hammer is ours. The means to Orpheus' release is in our hands. To the Undercity, Vos must hear of our victory. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will break Orpheus free. What about him? The historical slates describe Orpheus as a fearsome, terrible creature, powerful beyond measure, and enthralled by the Geich. So mad with power, he'd smash through the Githyanki Empire and deliver the shards to his illithid masters. And glowing with such psionic force that he and his red dragon blazed a trail through the skies. A lethal comet careening towards my people. Lies, of course. Vlakith spread a false image of Orpheus as monstrous betrayer, and her knights as the butchers who sliced him through. She was right to fear him, I'll grant her that. So great is the comet, it could shatter her reign. The Emperor may be loathsome, but it's right. Orpheus can disrupt a gay hive mind. A talent like that makes the Prince a powerful shield, and a powerful weapon. Why destroy a weapon like that, when you can contain it in a relic and keep it for yourself? A weapon is only an asset for as long as it isn't pointed at you. The means of Vlakith's own end has been ripped away from her. Better to have Orpheus killed than to risk his escape. Better to risk the rise of Elithids than let the Prince of the Comet deny her the godhood she craves. Orpheus is honor guard, loyal to the end. Trapped by Vlakith in the same prism holding their noble prince, fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him. They see us as geich, tadpoled husks in the Empress thrall. I regret their deaths. But I pledge to live as they perished, in the service of Gith's son. <laughs> no amount of contracts will save Raphael from the fate we forced upon him. A devil well slain, if I say so myself. Ha! <laughs> Defeating a devil in his own home feels very, very good, actually. Voss will be pleased with our progress. Come, to the underground. We must show him the Orphic Hammer. That's the last of Raphael. I'll be glad to no longer have to suffer his smug face. Fine. What's on your mind? Come closer. Tell me what you see. His voice carries the weight of untold centuries, and his ridges are scarred with uncounted battles. This is no dragonborn. This is a red dragon. It is so. Call me Kudenos. Master of flames, splitter of skies. I will be the one to carry Voss into battle against Vlakith. And I will be the one to breathe the flames that melt her. More than I could count. We were pacted by the Archdevil Tiamat 
and forced to serve the Gith Yankee. It is to the people that I'm loyal, not to the Lich Vlakith, a corpse in Gith clothing. I know Orpheus, just as I knew his mother. A new future will be planted in the wake of the comet. Until we meet again, mortal. I look forward to fighting alongside you. Vlakith will tremble at the sound of our roar. Sivos. He is eager to speak with you. Kithrak Voss. May the astral sea be still as you cross it. And may your mind be of steel so your blade may be of silver to Lakmagir. Have you retrieved the Orphic Hammer? Will our prince's chains finally be broken? Not a new companion, but an old one. And a loyal one. A proper introduction is in order, but I will let him do the honors. The remaining honor guard serve as my eyes and ears. Vlakith's forces hunt you and the prism. My allies have slayed more than you know, so that you might travel freely. As for those that break through, You've proven more than capable of bleeding them yourself. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from the Lich Queen's tyranny. The prophecy is one step closer to fruition. Gith's son will soon ride against Vlakith, Voss. And I will follow him into battle. And you will wield the greatest gift Mother Gith ever granted her dauntless children. A silver sword. I will carry it for the honor of Gith, the great liberator, and her unforgotten son. Istik, now that you have the hammer, you must find a way to enter the astral prism. Once inside, smash Orpheus's bonds. His cry will shake the plains, and I will fly to your aid. The Prince of the Comet will sear the heavens again. First we'll defeat the Absolute, then we let the Lich Queen tremble. Think again. I will not permit your entry. Questions, Istik? You seem to be lost in thought. The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. Yes, but you will meet this challenge, as you've met so many others. Lazel, sister in freedom. Together, we will end the Elder Brain which shakes this city. Then, we turn our sights to Vlakith, the Queen of Deceit. When you break Prince Orpheus free... You've yes, done I... well to retrieve the Orphic Hammer. Yet, this is just one step towards Gith Yankee freedom. It is inside the prism that your choices will bend fate and future. Voss stands at the ready. All that remains is to return to the Astral Prism and break Orpheus free. How we get in remains to be seen. Shah's blessings upon you. <laughs>